Hey, good morning, folks. It's Doug here from Mesh. Uh, just recording a really quick user video for version 2.0 of our free Reva Stage 1 embodied carbon calculator. Um, after some initial feedback, we've tweaked it, we've improved it, um, and I'm just going to quickly run you through uh, what some of those improvements are. So we have on the first page, just an introduction, some, some useful kind of hints and tips as to how to use the calculator, where we have this uh, highlighted orange cell down here. This is where the link to this video that I'm recording now will go. Um, and there's a reminder that yellow cells are for putting information in and blue cells give you an output or a, or a result. Uh, and of course, remember these, this calculator um, is only as good as the information that you put in it. But um, accuracy wise, it's, it, it's pretty good and we hope you find it useful. One of the other things that we've added in actually, because um, there were some comments made, particularly if you're looking at the Reba uh, targets 2020, 2025, 2030, um, as we focus on improving embodied carbon in the calculator, uh, operational, uh, operational energy as well needs to be driven down. So we've given a bit of a guideline here in a, in a table. If you're going for particular targets, the kinds of things that you need to include in the embodied carbon calculator to make sure uh, that you're, you're being fair with the embodied carbon. Obviously, as in operational energy efficiency improves, you've got to add things like solar, you've got to uh, drive down U values and things like that, and that adds carbon. So you need to make sure that you're doing this uh, in a kind of a fair way and the best tool that we could give without getting ridiculously complicated is giving you this kind of uh, summary table. So bear this summary table in mind, particularly for the U values, uh, the heating systems and the ventilation systems and the energy generation systems uh, to, to have a look into drop into the calculator. So the calculator itself, to keep this video short and sweet, I've already kind of pre-populated a lot of this, but I'll run you through some of the basics. Uh, fundamentally, you can now add a name to your building design. We have three separate building designs and there's one just off the page that you can compare side by side. And it's broken down into the main elements. Uh, you can put in two different roof types. Uh, you can put in two different external wall types. You can put in doors, windows, uh, ground floor, internal floors, miscellaneous other structures, and then uh, technologies like energy generation, heating hot water systems and things. And pretty simply, uh, you go along here to the yellow cells and pick from the drop down menu the materials that you're after. Uh, a reminder that these are listed in lowest, highest embodied carbon order. So the ones that appear at the top of the list have the lowest embodied carbon. So once you've chosen your materials, in this particular case, slate roof tiles for the roof, you put in your thickness of that material uh, and the area over which that covers. And this calculator also works out the uh, a pretty fair indication of what the U value is. Um, and, and this bit, generally, I should say the calculator is based on, on layers um, of material to, to work out the uh, embodied carbon. But appreciate you things, you've got things like joists and other structures which might not be layered up. And so we've added in for a lot of these sections non-sheet materials. So you can put in joists, for example. You put in the thickness or the depth you put in the width, which in this particular case is a couple of inches or 50 millimeters, and then you can put in the pitch as well. <clears throat> so it allows you to do some of those, those non-sheet materials. And again, for these uh, non-sheet materials, you must separately put in the area in which they, they cover. Uh, it may be the same as the area of the other sheet materials, but you must remember to put that value in the yellow cell. Um, we've now added in also the individual embodied carbon results for individual um, materials so you can immediately see in your build-up which has the kind of the worst performing or highest values for embodied carbon and then an overall one for the total structure or, or thermal element. Uh, we've got a little note section so you can scribble some notes in these various boxes as well and um, essentially whilst there seem to be a lot of cells here you just plod through fill in your details for the walls um, and the areas what I would say, and this is really important, we've got some highlighted in kind of bright yellow here. These are really, really critical cells because essentially a lot of the metrics that we're using here per square meter are per square meter of floor area of the building. And you must make sure 
that um, obviously you've got your ground floor in there, your internal, and then any internal floors in there, uh, so that the uh, the numbers are as, as fair as they they can be. Uh, obviously, the Reba targets as well use square meterage uh, as a as a metric. So to get the best result possible, make sure you put in accurate floor figures there. So as I say, I've pre-populated this. I'm not going to run through in this video every single cell. Uh, we've got in the, the wall areas for the, you know, the external walls, internal walls, internal floors. What I would just draw your attention to is doors, for example. So you put in, uh, maybe you've got a couple of external doors. Um, honestly, to keep this calculator simple, the impact that doors have on the, on the total figure is so marginal, we haven't gotten into choosing different door types. Just put in the amount of external doors that you've got. Of course, if you've got big glazed doors and things like that, make sure they're put in as windows rather than doors. Um, internal doors, again, nothing particularly fancy here, just, just put in uh, the amount of internal doors that you've got. Uh, where are we? So <clears throat> we, we tried to keep that simple. We can go into mega detail, but we haven't done that in, uh, in this particular calculator. The windows, you can choose from double or single glazing. We've got a couple of different options here, double glazing for, for wood and aluminium frame triple glazing for wooden aluminum frame and triple glazing uh, for, for a wood frame. So, so pick one of those. Again, um, we're not going to get lost in the detail, though this is, this is an indicative value. So say, for example, we put in um, double glazing and you put in the uh, glazing area, which is the house is around 70 square meters. You put in the information about the floor. Um, again, we've got uh, rebar steel reinforced floor there. You can pick um, rebar steel, um, reinforced concrete or just standard poured concrete. Uh, we've got hardcore in there, EPS instil insulation for this particular house. Um, and because this is a slab down here uh, in the actual footing section, that can be left blank. But of course, if you have full fill um, footings or you know concrete floor footings, that kind of stuff, you can put all that material down here. For foundations, um, all the materials are in cubic meters, whereas the rest of this um, you'd actually put in depths and widths and stuff. A lot of the rest of this is, is based on square meters, but foundations in foundation materials alone are based on cubic meters. So in this particular case, there's nothing else to fill in for the building fabric. But again, I'll just go over some of these um, things about the technology choices. So solar PV, you can either put in uh, a square meterage or if you would prefer, you can put in a kilowatt peak. Some people prefer one, some people prefer the other. Uh, and just to be absolutely sure, if you ha do have a preference, then, then change the other one to zero just to make sure they're not, they're not fighting one another. Heating and hot water systems, again, we've kept this simple air source, ground source, store, or gas boiler. Um, so, so pick one of those in this particular case, we're going to choose air source. Pick between underfloor heating or, or radiators, and you can pick from mechanical ventilation heat recovery or just mechanical ventilation only. In this particular case, we'll choose mechanical ventilation and heat recovery. You get a summary, uh, you know, a total here at the bottom um, of, of what your value is for that particular building. You get an immediate indication of what REBA band um, for embodied carbon you're sitting in. In this particular case, you're at the 2025 standard, but not quite at the 2030 standard, somewhere in between the two. And we give you a summary uh, table here of the various elements and how they compare to one another. And of course, if you fill in other elements of the spreadsheet, these bars will, will change in size and you'll get additional bars up here. So hopefully that's useful. Um, as always, please feel free to use this and suggest any improvements. Um, we're really pleased with this uh, free calculator. All that we would ask is you get in touch with us uh, and, and give us your email address and we will share this with you. So thanks very much, guys, and enjoy.